Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil. Knowing that God is a good God and He thinks of you every day, every second of the day, and thinks of me too, and He's given us an amazing ecosystem. Part of that ecosystem is a living soil. And if you're um, doing any type of organic gardening or farming or organic growing of any sort, um, you truly need life in your soil. You need living soil. And without it, um, it's not going to work. It's just not going to, you're not going to be truly uh, organically growing. And, um, you know, I've posted some stuff on different boards on Facebook. Uh, they're organic boards and um, a lot of those guys just don't get it. I don't think a lot of people get what it means to have living soil and the importance. So when I showed them, um, you know, uh, pictures of, um, you know, inoculated soil, they looked at it and they said, well, this is fungus or this is mold. It can't be good for your soil or I don't get it. And, um, and I really believe they just don't get it why you need living soil um, this is a follow-up video on um, uh, when I inoculated some uh, used uh, potting soil or just a soil in general and I sprinkled some of my uh, Grovana on top and as you can see Grovana is for real it's the real deal um, a lot more growth going on there this thing is completely covered with Michael Sillen. And um, I suppose if you showed this to some people, they would say, ooh, that's not good. I don't, I don't want that in my soil. But in reality, um, I could take this little bit and mix it into a larger batch of soil and just bring some serious life to that soil. And then mixed into here is just um, mycorrhizal and a whole bunch of uh, my own IMOs and uh, some uh, what I call DMOs, dominant microorganisms that are specific, you know, specific uh, microbes that break down uh, specific nutrients like phosphorus and magnesium, iron and sulfur, sulfur, silica. And so um, I did want, I wanted to do one more follow-up video on this. As you can see, a lot of, uh, a lot of action going on there. Um, looks like it, it, it was uh, uh, some snow on top. Or a white fur jacket. Or, um, I'll get a real good close up here. I don't know if you can see that, but that right my, there, my friends, is incredible uh, potential for any organic farmer. Um, you can even make a tea with this if you want, it, and then spread it out even further. So. Um, I just want to do a follow-up on the inoculated soil that I inoculated with Grovana, which is a product I have um, available on my website. Um, you can use PayPal. It's a PayPal tab there. You can use credit card, or if you have a PayPal account, you can do that. It's secure. Um, I've sold some through, uh, uh, through Facebook, through, um, not really Facebook, but through YouTube, Etsy, and other sources and everybody who's used my different microbes have definitely noticed a huge huge difference in their plant growth so if you truly want to grow organic you really need living soil if you don't get it when it comes to living soil you need to get it you need to do your research and see why you need a live soil and um, I don't even consider it soil anymore I consider what I make is earth uh, because I don't uh, I put things that you would expect out in the wild though um, inoculated wood and uh, the different nutrients even rocks worms different bugs that are beneficial nematodes a um, whole bunch of different things I put in the soil just because um, you know you need you need a live soil and with that, you're gonna, you know, you can do anything. So, this is uh, Earthman Origami's Living Soil. May God bless you.